good for brain tissue. Doesn't matter that mercury is one of the most documented heavy metals to be totally destructive to brain tissue and actually cause electrochemical explosions uh, in the brain. And we've written countless news articles about that showing electron microscope film footage of what tiny amounts of mercury, um, the, the type that's in vaccines, the, the, the thimerosal does to the brain. But when the government says mercury is good for your learning and behavior, they mean learning how to be a dumbed down zombie, learning how to go to the White House and collapse uh, because you're so damaged from the GMO, the uh, fluoride in the water, and uh, the bromine, the uh, lack of uh, proper nascent iodine, uh, and just the horrible diet. I mean, we are a cursed nation, that's a fact. But before I get to this breaking news and having studio folks that actually support going around trying to get kids to take more vaccines, uh, ghoulish type characters, lunatics in my view, in my opinion, I don't think it is my opinion, crazies. Uh, I want to play you some other crazies. This is CBS News locally. Again, this aired all over the country locally. It's a package produced nationally that local teleprompter readers read because in psyops you believe locals more than national. But remember, these are really national folks parroting what came from the national talking point that mercury is good for your brain. And remember, Obama said Obamacare is performing better than thought. And it's really doing great right now. So Mercury's good, Obamacare is great, raising the debt ceiling does not raise the debt ceiling. Uh, the founding fathers are bad, freedom is bad, tyranny is good, drink your fluoride, even though the Harvard study admits it gives you cancer and lowers your IQ. But we need your IQ lowered under Common Core. They teach down in the public schools, two plus two equals five. And if you don't agree with that, you're racist. So uh, let's go ahead and go to this uh, CBS clip. Here it is. Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two go. new studies in the journal Pediatrics. And pigs may there fly. There have been widespread concerns that mercury-based preservatives and vaccines might impair the neurological development oh. of children. These new studies suggest that the opposite, that the preservatives may actually be associated with improved behavior and mental performance. And, of course, Ted Turner wants 90% of us dead, so I guess improved mental behavior is you're in a coffin. So, I mean, this is the craziness we're dealing with. I'm crazy because I have medical doctors on exposing uh, what's really happening. Now, if you go to the CDC and just type in vaccine side effects... Uh, you'll get the uh, major vaccines uh, that are out there, and there's thousands of pages, but just the synopsis uh, is uh, more than 30 pages long, and it's got death, headache, stuffy nose, abdominal pain, diarrhea, fever, uh, blood and urine or stool, pneumonia, inflammation of stomach and intestines. Yeah, how about Crohn's disease? Uh, you can get, uh, you know, just all sorts of stuff, death, headaches, fatigue, uh, Guillain-Barre, uh, seizures, permanent seizures, fussiness, vomiting, tiredness, autoimmune disorders. Uh, you can just go through uh, all the uh, wonderful things. Uh, fevers, uh, brain damage. Uh, the list just goes uh, on and on. Um, all the horrible things it does to you. Of course, Gardasil can kill you, uh, cause brain damage, autoimmune uh, disorders. Uh, so, you know, I just suggest that uh, you uh, go and check all this out because with other drugs, deafness, long-term seizures, coma, lowered consciousness, permanent brain damage. I mean, this is from, but, but every year before school, they put out paid for ma magazine, newspaper, TV things saying there are no side effects. Alex Jones, the lying scumbag. We've read these articles. Other people are lying scumbags. Dr. Blaylock, brain surgeon, went on Alex Jones, AP reported he's horrible. He said it's causing autism and brain damage, and he's a big fat liar. And I mean, here we are just reading from, from the documents uh, themselves. I could just keep, keep going here with the death and the nausea and the neurological disorders and just uh, everything else uh, that uh, this stuff does. And then, of course, they have a multi-billion dollar fund that if you can jump through thousands of hoops, uh, and if your doctor does his job and reports it was the vaccine, that then they'll pay you out a paltry sum uh, for your uh, brain-damaged child, and they make you sign a vaccine adverse events reporting system uh, to you know see what's going on, to fine-tune their vaccines so they don't openly damage you right away. They want you to crawl off and die a long, painful death that the medical system can suck all your money out first uh, while your child has to have their diapers changed till they're 35 and then finally die. So uh, that's all part of the plan right there. Just thought you might want to know about uh, all that. And uh, we have right here for the flu shot itself from the CDC.gov. Uh, all the things it can uh, do to you. Guillain-Barre's, seizures, uh, deaths, um, 
all sorts of thyroid problems, uh, uh, hives, angina, uh, just just heart problems, uh, again, neurological disorders, uh, being paralyzed, uh, just, I mean, just some really, 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 really fun stuff here um, that's going to go on, of course. Now, all that said, the, the flu shot never protects you from the actual flu that's out there. And it actually lowers your immunity and doubles your chances the next year of getting the regular seasonal flu. That's a major Canadian-British uh, joint study, and there's also U.S. studies showing that. So I thought we would uh, send out the crew to some of the local uh, places uh, that are pushing. I mean, hey, want 10% off your bill? Take a shot. We get kickbacks from the government that wants to hurt you. Of course, the average person working there doesn't know this. Or, hey, fluoride for babies in the water or in the formula when they've said for seven years don't give it to children to age five and it lowers IQ and, and and makes their teeth have fluorosis when their teeth erupt and but you know so what I mean who needs an IQ so we're going to be handing out these flyers uh, says know the risk of the flu shot the CDC website admits the following <clears throat> concerning the seasonal flu shot you could get Guillain-Barre syndrome from the flu shot uh, and it says source cdc.gov. We just showed you that. Serious reactions can occur from getting the shot. Reactions include breathing problems. Well, who needs to breathe? Hoarseness or wheezing, hives, paleness, weakness, and fast heartbeat or dizziness. Uh, sure, but of course, Guillain-Barre being paralyzed, that's fun. Uh, and it goes on, said you can get sick from the shot and even get the flu after receiving the shot. We'll actually show actuaries, again, insurance companies know, right after the shots roll out, that's when it starts. Just like they've got to keep uh, polio going, so they give live polio vaccine still with live cancer virus in it. And, 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 and they've got it down where it's a footnote in the paper. Yeah, 60 plus thousand kids got paralyzed, a bunch of them died after the, after the shots. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in India. Just don't worry about it. But by the way... Uh, you know, a cop dropped a ham sandwich. Let's have a parade for it. You know, it just, it just, I think that's normal. I think that's good. So um, we now have uh, with us uh, Nurse Death and Prozac the Killer Clown. Uh, both of them are here in studio uh, with us today. And uh, you guys are going to now be going out to different facilities around Austin. Um, you know, encouraging people to take their vaccines, but actually giving them little handouts with what the disorders are, because they won't tell you there's any adverse reactions. Notice with any other drug, they admit all the bad stuff it can do to you in the TV ad. Right. <clears throat> or at least, but, but not in these. They tell you it's safe and effective. It's a conspiracy theory. It only helps you. Uh, and so, uh, and it's not that vaccines couldn't be a technology that could actually be good. It's that a secret government that does testing on us and has a criminal record of injecting people with syphilis, uh, human papilloma viruses, uh, SV40 viruses that they admit uh, gave 100 million people cancer and killed most of them. That's all public. But I think you guys may be right. We should have people take more shots. We should trust these people and take their injections and let them lie to us and say there's no adverse reaction. So nurse death, I'm very proud of the work you're doing. Actually, I think you guys are really doing a horrible mm -hmm. thing out there. And uh, we have Prozac, the killer killer clown here with us. And uh, guys, tell us tell us about why you support this and want to get the kids to, uh, to take their shots and then get a lollipop. Well, uh, thanks for having us on here, Alex. I just wanted to say, oh man, what a theme park of suffering you just went through there. That was beautiful. I love side effects. I love hearing about them. And thank you for bringing them all out. I mean, myself this morning, I had bloating. My ulcer exploded. I had some gas. But the nurse does, she put some stuff in me. I'm not sure if it's me or the stuff she's putting in me that made me feel worse. But You have irritable bowel, a trail of diarrhea behind you? Oh, it's absolutely. They had to get the mop in here. Anyway, what a wonderful thing. Uh, I, one thing you didn't mention was the uh, formaldehyde that causes cancer. Oh, right. man. My favorite. Oh, ho! You gotta love that. Well, uh, you know, uh, instead of just giving the kids lollipops for a Pavlovian response of, of getting their IQ reduction shot, could we have formaldehyde lollipops and just kill them right there on the spot? What I'd like to see is everybody just dress up as guinea pigs because I see all of you stupid guinea pigs. And I, if we could just load you up, every one of you, if you could just put some kind of guinea pig uniform on or maybe a lemming thing, jump off a cliff as you're suffering from Well, that would be nice to Ted Turner would actually like to just kill us right out. But, 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 but I mean, John B. Holder says we do it through the water and the shots instead. 
Yes, uh, Ted Turner pushed me down a flight of stairs. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I don't know what happened to me yesterday because all the side effects. But what? But isn't it great? Hey, hey, it wait a minute. Needs, he he needs nice teeth. I mean. Yeah, well, you yeah, seem up nurse, nurse death. Tell us why you're here. And, and, and I guess he's a little upset you're here to administer some more mercury. Yes. Because we just heard from CBS News, it's good for kids. Everyone should have their daily dose of cancer and mental confusion, as well as diabetes. How's that feel? Go ahead and give him a shot. How's that feel? <laughs> oh, you should be feeling dizzy. I'm paralysis. completely confused. I love it. <laughs> you, you love the new Obamacare. Is it free? Seizures. Oh, it's totally free. Just get on the computer. Okay, to anybody's lost. computer. Well, they now say they're going to refuse health care unless you take the vaccines. And uh, they're also going to make, you know, uh, Christian groups pay for abortions. Isn't that good? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. In fact, all the churches, I'm so glad to see all the pastors giving in to uh, what the money does for them instead of actually pushing Christian values. Who needs that bulk anyway? Right? Well, who even needs kids? Like, I mean, we could, we could just inject the kids with mercury and like Jim Jones and kill them all at the church. That would be... Oh, Why not just kill them right away? But I guess if you kill them real slow, though, and give them all these diseases and brain damage them, that's better. Explain to me, Nurse Death, why it's important to wreck their lives and make them die over 30 years instead of right away. Well, polysorbate 80 right here causes infertility. So, you know, just daily, a little dose of this every flu season. I haven't been fertile since 1973. <laughs> so, nurse, nurse Death, tell us about what you're going to be out there telling the public to do. You're going to pull up in the van, you're going to have candy for the kids, and you're going to say, I have mercury for you. And if the cops say, hey, mercury's dangerous, don't inject kids on the side of the road with mercury, you go, no, 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 it's good for them. This is part of Obamacare. I'm, I'm Nurse Death, here to administer. What's the big deal, deal, man? A little seizure's never hurt anyone. Well, it's racist yeah. if you don't want to have a seizure. Exactly. Are you racist against brain damage and kidney failure? Yeah, somebody comes to me and says, hey, I've been taking all this Prozac. I feel so happy, but my diarrhea is out of control. You know what I say? Racist! Well, that's the answer. Actually, if you say Obamacare was written by foreign insurance companies and is only a fine on everybody and will wreck health care, they just scream racist, and it is racist. Completely it's racist, racist against the globalists that are trying to get a hold of the human population and kill everybody. Hey, nurse, hang on. For Big Pharma. Somebody called Obama. I think I'm going to faint. <laughs> Somebody get Obama here. Hey, look, you notice everybody on that stage looked like they couldn't tie their shoelaces. I guess they've been having their shots, huh? You know, only three of those people had actually signed up. <laughs> well, that's what it was. He, had, he found No, no, they think they people, signed up. Right. The six people in America that were able to get through, and he had them on stage. You gotta love it. Obama, it's just, they're glitches. They're just glitches in the system. Nothing wrong with the glitch. And thank heavens for Sibelius for coming out and explaining to the whole world a week, well, from this week, that everything's fine. Enjoy your side effects. Uh, you know, if you're having a, a spasm of the lyrics, or my, am I hallucinating again? Just take a you just want them to suck your brain out, don't you? The vaccines just lovingly brain suck. Ah, there oh, you go. No more pain. Oh. Save it, Rockefeller loves you. Somebody <laughs> help me every time. Brains are good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hey, I mean, that's not, that's not crazy to say mercury's good for your child's brain. I agree with CBS News. Oh, absolutely. You know, they're not misinformed at all. And it's they're the news. There, it's all well, I like how, I mean, I know you worked in local TV, you know, uh, yeah. uh, 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 before you became the clown. Yeah, and, and as a I, cameraman. I like how they just, with straight faces, just just openly say it's good for children. Well, it's not their job to know anything. Well, it'd be, I mean, it'd be like if the teleprompter said, and today we'll be human sacrificing children on the news. And they're just like, oh, quite normal. Absolutely. You just, you know, get what's written for you and read it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> they told him, report to the local FEMA camp. We're going to throw you in a wood chipper. I think they'd, they'd, they'd say that. And tonight, we'll be throwing your children into wood chippers. Tonight at 7. Sounds like a new holiday to me. Sure make my job easier. Now, now talk about talk about what you're going to be saying to the to the especially the children because I know Nurse Death, you love them. So, so what are you going to say to the little kids when you're out there in front of the Walgreens and Walmarts? to say come here kitties didn't you want a little brain damage a little cancer didn't you hear about hair loss what about that asthma nausea drought hey they're already banning uh, playtime and not letting you run at recess how about guillain beret you'll be paralyzed <laughs> pick your favorite
I've got several to choose from. Think you're going to grow up and have kids? No, you're not. Pick your poison. I'm going to be uh, making balloon animals for the kids. And, of course, all these animals will be afflicted with uh, severe side effects. I want to give you the floor, Nurse Death. Uh, we've heard enough from Prozac, the killer clown over there. Um, are you proud of, of the fact that he is the master drug that subderivatives of almost every shooter has been on and that he's never gotten the blame, even though the insert says it'll make you commit mass murder and kill people and make you delusional, and then you add it with Pentagon-designed shoot em up killing uh, games that teach you to have instinctive shooting, and they go out and murder everybody, and then we all get blamed for what uh, Big Pharma does? I think he's doing a fantastic job. It's hilarious that we not only put it on the inserts, but we, we spell it right out for you in the commercials that it may cause mass murder. And people are like, oh, my goodness, it's going to help me. I'm going to need that. But you know, that's not a bow tie. That's actually a cancerous growth from the uh, oh, yeah. from the HPV shot. I inject him with ulcers daily. I mean, who, who doesn't want a tumor that looks like that? It looks like a butterfly. Isn't that a beaut? It's a happy glitch. <laughs> hey, uh, let me ask you a question, Death. How handsome is Prozac the Killer Clown? I mean, tell all the other guys like beer commercials. If you look like this and have the IQ of an amoeba, you will get the ladies. And if not, if, uh, my my shots here cause blindness and deafness. So you know who needs who needs to even actually see this guy. He is quite a stud, though. I love just his more teeth. sports center for more me. More fluoride. She's just talking out of her. You know what? Because I have. I'm completely sexually dysfunctional. <laughs> I make sure of it. Well, I mean, what's wrong? Seriously. It's squalene. I mean, I mean, what's wrong? The kids need more mercury. Absolutely. I well, when you're out handing these flyers out to folks that actually you're warning people, uh, but I guess you guys are so brain damaged from all the vaccines, you don't know that. Uh, what else are you going to say to people, Nurse Death? People are into death, though, and they're into getting sick, and they're really into cancer and raising awareness of cancer. So they might be into getting out. Yeah, not, not raising awareness to why it's exploding, exactly. but raising awareness to give it to the big companies that are actually behind it. Just be aware of how much we need you to get cancer and to go get your flu shot so that we can so safe and effective. our profits. Safe exactly. and effective. Don't listen to people. There's no side effects. Exactly. Except death. And I'm pretty sure that even when we hand them out the side effects, they're going to be like, whoa, and they're going to walk Well, stay there, the stay there, there stay there. There are those curious about Bitcoins and those using and making money with Bitcoins. What are Bitcoins? A Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency that can be easily transferred from person to person over the Internet. No bank needed. This means lower fees and accounts can never be frozen, limited, or closed. You are in control of your money. And the best part? You can start earning and making money with Bitcoins right away. No computer or expertise is required to earn money with Bitcoins, and a growing number of merchants now accept Bitcoins. Plus, they're easily exchanged for dollars, euros, and more. Learn more about the easiest, cheapest, most profitable way to enter the Bitcoin market and get paid every two weeks by one of the fastest growing Bitcoin miners in the world at cloudhashing.com. Just like it sounds, cloudhashing.com. That's cloudhashing.com. We mine your business. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. 
These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Yeah, we're back live. Got serious stuff coming up with the former Navy SEAL speaks out on how they're trying to engineer vets to revolt to bring in martial law. We're going to be talking to him coming up. And we'll continue with your phone calls as well for everybody that's holding. But we're trying to reach out to the general public who will later watch this on YouTube or wherever and, you know, actually get a chance. If you're a radio listener, you can go to Infowars.com forward slash show and see the free video feeds or be a PrisonPlanet.tv subscriber and see it in higher def and also see the nightly news and all the films. But you can see uh, Leanne McAdoo playing Nurse Death uh, and also Prozac the Killer Clown. But I thought I'd show you from WebMD um, the official Prozac, and it's even worse with the other ones that came out of it, uh, what it does. Abnormal dreams, infrequent side effects, they claim, um, fast heartbeat, chest pain, chronic trouble sleeping. And it goes on to say... Hepatitis, uh, bleeding of the stomach and intestines, uh, neuroleptic uh, malignant syndrome, confusion, uh, having the uh, excessive uh, cheerfulness and activity, mild degree of mania, having thoughts of suicide, sun-sensitive skin, loss of memory, mood changes, loss of one's sense of reality and identity. That's, that's why they want, they got 20% they got of the public on it. So uh, Prozac, you're pretty excited about that. It's like a roller coaster ride from hell, and I'm on it, baby. I just want kids. Well, they're putting young. well, they're putting kids as young as two on it because they can see the pretty colors too. Go ahead. Well, if you take a shot, kids. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in a mood change. If kids, if you take one of these shots, there's a puppy in every shot. So as you go to sleep, you'll see a puppy or a kitty, whichever one you like. Okay. And if you're a small enough baby, you'll have sudden death, uh, uh, sudden infant death syndrome, and you'll really sleep. Oh, joy. That's a little gift from the New World Order. And they get away with it, hidden in plain view, murdering everybody. Bonus. Murdering, murdering. So liberal. Liberal. So liberal. I love murder. Oh, I love murder. <laughs> well, you you got to love the New World Order. They're really on to something, aren't they? Yeah, they know how to get us to go along with all this. All right, sickos. Uh, seriously, get out there and warn everybody. Get their attention. You should call the media, too, and just say, we're going to be there in one hour. <laughs> And then, you know, show up not on the property of Walmart or Walgreens, wherever you choose first, but out on the edge. They'll still run out until you can't be on the sidewalk. Just be polite when the cops get there and explain it all and show the tyranny. We're just here warning what you're doing in here, what you're pushing. Shoot people up with, with hepatitis and mercury in one hour. No and also, bad. all the money we're going to be taking, all that Obamacare that you can't afford. <laughs> <laughs> We need to make that guy the head of Health and Human Services. It's our poster child. They're ready to have you at Bohemian Grove. Or, yeah. Oh, I just got back. <laughs> I appreciate what you're doing for all the kids. You've killed quite a few. No, I'm dizzy. Yeah. But well, maimed well, others. Those are the lucky ones. Right, yeah. Just Actually, I shouldn't even joke. There's parents listening right now. I've had their kids killed by this. I've met them. But hey, go out and try to warn the pregnant. Go out and warn the pregnant women. To be serious. Go out and warn people. This is a great way to get through to them. And, and, and whoever made up the idea, it's a good idea. Thanks for giving us the recognition we deserve. Uh, whose idea was this? That'd be our producer, Rob Dew. Lord Dew of Lord InfoWars Lord Nightly Lord News. Dew. All right, guys, go on. Let folks see your outfits. Go ahead and stand up there. There you go, uh, John. Active murder. Go ahead and uh, go sing ahead. And, sing oh, on. by the way, I forgot. What about this, the nascent iodine? <laughs> that holds back the fluoride. And from InfoWarsLive.com. Run! Ah. Run! All right, I've driven them back. A little bit of ridiculousness. All right, we're going to come back, take a few phone calls, and get the Navy SEAL on, uh, who went on Fox News last week, and and he was there uh, helping rem you know remove the barricades and with the speakers. And I got to meet one of the World War II vets that was there as well at the Alamo rally. We'll get his take uncensored uh, coming up. Uh, but briefly, we are listener supported here, folks, and we're just trying and testing different ways to try to wake people up. And we also then try to promote things that are part of the solution, like high-quality pro-pure water filtration, 10% off promo code WATER at InfoWarsStore.com. 
with promo code WATER, and that purchase also supports the overall broadcast. And don't forget, the nascent iodine, it's sold out, but more gets here in two or three weeks. We want to get in line and pre-order it. And it also supports the broadcast, uh, Survival Shield by InfoWars Life, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today.